Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking, coming at you today. We're gonna do a shrimp creole. I'll tell you what, one of my favorite recipes ever. We're gonna get this done here on this Sunday afternoon. We're gonna get it going low and slow and fish it right with wonderful layers and layers of flavor. So y'all stay with me here. Alright y'all, so we're about to do the first step here. We're gonna make a roux. Now, I like to have a roux with my shrimp creole so I can adjust the thickness. What I've got here is about a half a stick of butter, okay? Melt it in the pan. Now, we'll stir that around a little bit. I'm gonna add about a cup of earl. Just add any kind of vegetable earl or whatever you got there. Vegetable oil is best, I think. You can use lard, you can use, you know, whatever you have, duck fat, I guess. But you know what we're doing. So as soon as we melt this butter down, we're going to add the flour. We're going to add about a cup of flour to this. Let this melt down. Oh yeah, this stuff there. You can trust me with light here. So y'all got plenty of light. I should have plenty of light now with my new lights. Come on, melt down, boy. I yeah, just want to get that nuts. Alright, now we're going to add in this cup of, cup of flour here. All-purpose flour. That's what I use. This is going to be a simple roux today. We're not going for something that's super uh, dark or anything like that. It's going to be more of a blonde roux. We're just using this basically to thicken the purposes. Alright. So that's what we got here. This we'll just stir in. Get this all mixed in here. And uh, probably take about 20 minutes. Or so stir it on this roux to make it like we want. You don't want to get all flour busted up and everything first. Put the butter, a good old cast iron pan, best way to do this. Or you can make the roux ahead of time. You see some of my videos I've got where you can oven make a roux. I should have time for that because that's time consuming. That's something you do the day before. It takes a few hours, but it's, it takes a long time, but it's a lot less effort, so to speak. Let's take it out and stir it about every 30 minutes. But this way, it done a little faster. And we're just going to kind of stir that in, y'all. I'll come back to you in a few minutes. All right, y'all, if you can see this roux here, I added a little bit extra. Oh, it's just blonde roux, okay? Just nice tan color. That's what we're looking for because this is going to be for thickening, not necessarily for color or anything like that. So I'm going to let it go just a couple more minutes, and then we're going to take this off set on the side, and we'll get to the rest of the shrimp creole. All right, y'all, now let's get down to it. We got the roux made, we got the roux set aside. I got a stick of butter in here melting in the big gumbo pot. And now I got some chopped veggies. I did some uh, chopped some onions, some celery, some green bell peppers, and uh, some parsley thrown in there. Just good fresh chop on that stuff. We're gonna throw this in as soon as this butter melts. Now right, I'd say this is probably about 48 ounces of chopped veggies that we're going in here with y'all. All right, so we got this butter sizzling here. That's perfect, but we're gonna just go ahead and throw in the vegetables. Oh yeah. And look, on the vegetables, and a little bit of cracked, a little salt, I'm gonna throw in here. Let's just start my kicking on that butter for a second. Okay. A little bit of salt to help the vegetables kind of wilt a little bit. Then we a little cracked white pepper, fresh. Good. All right, and we just stir this around. Keep see, saute these on down, y'all. All right, y'all, so we've been cooking these vegetables here for about 20 minutes, I'm just stirring them kind of on low heat. And what I want to show you is, is what they were telling me. You want to uh, go ahead and get your vegetables seasoned at this point, okay? I want to get them really, really tender. It's not quite as tender as I want them to be, but I'm going to go ahead and season. So I'm going to show y'all what we're doing, bring it to the party here. Oh, come on, get off there. I've got some, uh, I believe this was oregano here, uh, and I've got some Old Bay seasoning, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and some, uh, 
some, uh, oh, oh, what is that? Bezels, yeah. Cajun seasoning. And some bay leaves. All right, now put all that right down in there. And just want to stir that in. And we'll continue cooking these veggies uh, to tender them on down, but that'll also, uh, so we we'll get flavorful. Layers of flavor is the key with a dish like this. I'm going to come in and put some chopped garlic in here just shortly, but we'll let these cook down just a little bit more before we do that. So this right here, this is Perrin's uh, wonderful oyster bed company season. This is going in. Couldn't find any chopped garlic. That's okay. I've used some more garlic powder, and this has got a lot of garlic in it too. That has some wonderful flavor. Everything right there. Wish y'all could just smell this wonderfulness. Now, everything's just kind of building up on the bottom of the pot and getting good. Yeah. Uh, if I had some white wine, it wouldn't be bad. I did put some white wine in right now, but I've got some tomato paste we got to put in here. And I got to figure out how I'm going to get it out of the jar, y'all. Because I couldn't open up both sides. You should open up both sides of the tomato paste can. But anyway, we'll do this, push this aside. A couple of little small cans of tomato paste go down in here. And this is going, we're going to stew this in with these veggies. Pick up a little bit of that sweetness out of the tomato. This is going to add and add to this flavor party, y'all. Yeah, that should be good right there. Yes. Alright. Okay, just smoosh that around. Basically, we'll cook this tomato paste. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit to lower. I don't want to scorch that tomato paste. I'm going to cook it around here, stir it around these vegetables. Woo! You can smell that, that bouquet just opening up on that. Oh, just the smell of this. Wonderful. So we cook this around like this, keep stirring it for about five minutes or so. Just cooking that tomato paste, all that goodness. It's not not beautiful. Look how that tomato paste is just sitting there. It's cooked. We've been stirring it constantly just like this. They say you want to do this for about five minutes just to get that raw tomato taste out of there. Just cook it and get those wonderful sugars working. I've got some tomato sauce now. All right, we're gonna put about two 15 ounce jars of tomato sauce in here at this point. I'm gonna stir that in, okay? That's your Creole. Now, if you wanted to, if you were big into tomato, you know, the consistency stuff, you could. In fact, we may do this. Let me add a can of diced tomatoes. So we'll have a little bit of texture with those tomatoes at this point in time. Diced tomatoes with garlic. Some good stuff here. Just add that in there. Alexa, stop timer. Those are fire roasted. I think that'll add some flavor to the party. And let's stir this, but let's add some more flavor. We've got some Worcestershire uh, sauce. Got a couple tablespoons of that, all right? Good stuff. And also, I've got, this is better than bouillon, a lobster base. I've got about two tablespoons dissolved in this little bit of broth right there. I'm gonna put that in there. And it's good. Start opening up the flavors of the ocean. Right there, all right? So we're gonna stir this around. and turn my heat up just a little bit to about number four and keep stirring this and just bring all this aromatics together for about five minutes. I've been stirring and simmering for about five minutes here. Uh, I tasted it, it tastes great. I do want to add a little bit more, about another tablespoon of that lobster stock. Concentrate, I just want to get that 
a little bit of that seafood flavor more introduced to it. I um, might add a little bit more to Koreans right here. Just, uh, ooh, gotta watch this thing pop it. Mmm, burn. Okay. I'm gonna just stir this about another, stir it for about three or four minutes. And we'll add the rest. I'm gonna add a little chicken stock or chicken broth. Just a little bit there. Trying to get some liquid. Now, as soon as it comes back up to burl, which is where it's popping like that, we're gonna talk about adding shrimp in, y'all. Mm-mm. -hmm. And we'll just give it just a few minutes. So now I got two pounds of frozen Gulf shrimp, 40, uh, 41 sixes. Perfect size for this. Put those in. Throw those in a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more in another bag. That's what you want for a shrimp creole right there. I had a bunch of larger Gulf shrimp, and these are, let me show you what I got here. These are a Big Easy Foods brand, you know, certified. Come from uh, products of the USA. Make dang sure that only attempt to make this with no Taiwanese shrimp or something. So stir those in. Get me a little few more here. Y'all bear with me just a second. What you want to do is you turn this stove on about a medium heat and you just keep this stirred every couple minutes. And it'll cook these shrimp right into here, y'all, and release some great flavor. Then we'll look at it and gauge it, see what the thickness is, see if we need to dry, uh, add any more. Uh, it's rude or anything like that, but it's looking great so far, y'all. As y'all can see, the shrimp is pretty much cooked in here, but what's happened is our liquid's gotten super thin because those shrimp have released a lot of their juices, which is fine. What we'll do now is I'm gonna add some of that roux in. That'll help us thicken this stuff back up. See right there? We just add a couple of big spoons of this in here. We'll stir it in and let it simmer. Well, see how that's thickening it back up? That's how we want it to be. I'm going to take the lid off, let it just sit here and just simmer for a little bit. Everything all good and mixed in. Let all our flavors just party and, uh, while we cook the rice. Y'all, I'm going to tell you what, the flavor on this is absolutely amazing. Beautiful, beautiful shrimp creole right here. So we're going to serve some of this up just a second as soon as this rice is ready. Alright y'all, I want y'all to look at this right here. Woo, woo, that shrimp creole. Got some of that, we got that with that good fresh bread. Now I'll put some of that Pyrene seasoning on that bread with that butter. Oh my word. Oh that's amazing. Let's give this a try. Man, a little bit of rice there. Ooh, that shrimp. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, man. Knock his socks off right there. Try with French bread dipped in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Absolutely amazing, y'all. I'm gonna try this, seriously. Well, oh. I'll try to just type out some of the recipe in the description box for y'all if I can. I appreciate y'all tuning in again. Like my channel, uh, like my videos, sub my channel. Y'all ch check me out on Instagram as well. Follow me, I appreciate it. God bless y'all, have a good, we gonna get to this good old shrimp, Rio.